Hello, hello. It is uh, almost 10 to 8 on uh, Tuesday evening. And I am back down at the park. I still have my seatbelt on. Hang on a second. That's not very comfortable. <laughs> down at the park here. Thought I'd get out of the house. Well, I haven't really been in the house all damn day, but I thought I'd get away from the house. I just had a shower and I'm sweating balls. Jesus. But I thought I'd come down to the park and vlog a little bit before uh, before it got too dark. <sighs> so, the boys are so sweet. I went and had a shower because I was a sweaty mess all damn day. And uh, But my yards look fantastic. I'm just saying. Um... I had my shower and I went uh, to each of the boys and said, you know, well, I said to my eldest, are you going to be home? To, like, are you in for the night? Excuse me. Um, because mommy wants to go vlog. And uh, he rolled his eyes at me and said, yeah, I'm home for the night. And his girlfriend laughs. I think she thinks it's funny that I vlog. <laughs> and uh, so I said, you know, great, thanks. I appreciate it. Went downstairs and uh, and uh, my uh, youngest was playing video games and I said, you know, hey monkey, uh, do you mind if we skip our walk tonight and I go down and vlog for a little bit before it gets dark? He goes, oh yeah, mom, sure, yeah, mama, you go. So, I think he's just happy not to be made to leave the air-conditioned house. <sighs> he does not take the heat well at all. Which I get, that's fine. <sighs> but I said, you know, so I was trying to get him out today and I kept saying, you know, if you can come out and wash my car mats for me, just take the hose to them, you know, nothing special. Um... Will I vacuum out the car? Because that was kind of my plan today. Uh, armor all everything and, and vacuum it out. Um, then, uh, you know, you can stay in the house for the rest of the day. I don't care. But you should get out for a little bit. You know. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. And then I ran late. I had to run to Walmart and get stuff. And I went with my buddy. And we figured we'd save gas and just take, you know go up in one car kind of deal and uh, whew, that took a while and I had to go get my eldest from work so that kind of no car got the car didn't get did today that'll be a job for tomorrow but uh, yeah so I think they're all happy to be at home in the air conditioning right now And that's fine, whatever. But I can only stand it for so long, and then I gotta, I gotta go. I don't care if I sweat balls. I gotta, I, I can't, I can't stand the air conditioning. I appreciate it for sleeping, but other than that, and cooking, but other than that, I, can, I don't like it. So how is everybody tonight? Warm. We had our first sun shower of the season today. And it's funny because my boyfriend texted me from work. I said, hey babe, how you doing? He's like, I'm sweating balls. <laughs> Bet you are. <laughs> he was not happy. He was a very grumpy big daddy. <laughs> and uh, he said just they had I guess they had a ton of rain and uh, he said it just got hotter <laughs> I said well it looked like rain earlier like I was vlogging this morning and by the time I finished up I thought for sure um, 
I wasn't going to get my grass finished because I thought for sure it was just going to piss rain all over the place, but it never did. And I had just finished saying to him, yeah, you know, it, it, it must have skipped us because we never got it. it. It was threatening and then it went away. And uh, I went and started doing something and I was upstairs and I walked past the uh, hallway window and I just happened to look outside and it's friggin' raining. I was like, shit, my friggin' car windows are open. <laughs> run downstairs <laughs> fly out the door get my windows up that nothing got wet holy crap come back in the house it's soaking wet <laughs> it's kind of the theme of the day <laughs> my eldest is at, it, at his laptop doing something for school and he kind of looks over and he goes what happened I said do you do you, like look out the wind like there's a window right in front of him a great big window like, look outside he's like oh it's raining <laughs> my car windows were open he goes oh that's not good mama <laughs> he went right back to his schoolwork <laughs> thanks bud I got so sunburnt at Walmart today. Lordy, lordy, lordy. It's all overcast now. That was a sun shower. There, I mean, there was clouds, but it was pretty sunny. And by the time we got to Walmart, it was overcast and humid. And I only had a few things I had to get. Um, but my buddy, I guess, had an entire grocery shopping to do. And usually we take my car when we're both picking up stuff because, you know, why should we both use up our gas? Like it's, you know, whatever. And my car is bigger, um, can carry more stuff. So if we're both doing a shopping, there's, there's room in my car for everybody's stuff. Um, but we got into this, you know, do you want to drive? Do you want me to drive? And I was like, I don't care. He said, well, I don't care either. What do you want to do? I was like, whatever. Like, I, I, I don't care. Make a decision. I, I hate being left to make up decisions. Like, fuck. the last few months, decision making is so painful like the last, I don't know, eight or nine months or something like that. I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know why it, it's never really been an issue. Like, unless I'm having a moment, <laughs> um, it, it's never been an issue for me to make decisions to go, fuck it. I'll do it. Like, it's fine. <laughs> Decision making like the last eight months or so now. Fuck. Oh my God. I hate it. Don't, don't do that. Like, my brother just called me um, as I was leaving the house to come down here tonight. Um, wondering if, I guess he got a hotel suite or something um, to take. I guess it was supposed to be originally him and my nephew and my brother's fiance to, like, Gravenhurst. Um, and she's waffling. We're not, we're not going to go there. Um, but of course he's already booked it and paid for it and everything. And he was like, well, fuck it. I'm going like, you know, my son and I are going and that's the end of it. Fucking do you. So I guess he phoned me to see if me and my youngest want to go. I've heard of Gravenhurst. I don't know where it is. I don't know anything about it. And I said, well, what the fuck is in Gravenhurst? Like, <laughs> like I realize it's not here and that's awesome. 
but I, you know he's like oh well there's nature trails and I guess there's a pool at this hotel and he was going on about kayaking do I look like I kayak no. so <laughs> why does everybody have to come down here for fries go under the bridge leave me in peace Anyways, um, so he seems really gun ho about this and it's in like two weeks or something. I'm like, oh, I just want to go down to the park and vlog. <laughs> Let me live my YouTube life. <laughs> he has no idea that I do this. Most people don't. But, uh, <laughs> I was like, well, you know what, let me, let me talk to my boyfriend. Maybe he can, maybe he'd be interested, right? I mean, they'd be leaving at some time Friday. So, I mean, he'd have to skip out of work or something. I don't know if he'd be willing to play hooky. <sighs> I might be able to talk him into it. Um, and then he can drive because I ain't doing the long distance driving. I will drive in town and that is all. <laughs> no long distance driving. I friggin' hate driving. Um, so he was like, yeah, that's, yeah, he seemed kind of disappointed that I wanted to ask my boyfriend to come, but I was like, you know, uh, uh, much as I would like a getaway with my youngest, if I'm going to take one, I would prefer to take both and do a family weekend away. I kind of feel like if I can't take one, why would I, you know? I don't feel that's fair. Now, once the eldest moves out, he's on his fucking own. If I want to go somewhere for the weekend with the youngest, you know, I did that a couple of times with the eldest when he was little, so. <sighs> like little. <laughs> we haven't gone anywhere in a very long time. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gone away for a weekend with my youngest. Uh, haven't gone away with my eldest. I think, well, I know the last family holiday that we had away was over the Canada Day long weekend when he was like five. <laughs> He's 20. <laughs> hmm. But I've also never gone away with my boyfriend before, so I think that might be fun. Oh, here comes a train. I don't know if you can see it there, the red CN. It is so rare that the train comes down there. Everybody gets all confused when it does. I don't think I've ever seen it come this late before. I've I've heard it because it's the train tracks come down around the end of my street. Um, I've heard it in the like afternoon on very rare occasions. Here, let's flip it around again. Like anybody cares about the train, but it's just such a rarity. It's gonna cut off the street. People are gonna be pissed. Manner. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's a lineup. <laughs> mm. The stragglers trying to get home. Suckers. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. I'm terrible. Yeah, anyway. Oh, there's my hand in the middle of the camera. Sorry. I forgot I flipped around the other way. 
this seems to be working now so I figured out the problem with that whole ratio thing was the zoom was all wonky so I can do it I can I can film this with my phone horizontally now and oh how rude there's trains coming behind us you might be able to see it it'll come around you'll see it around that yellow building there when it comes but it's gonna be noisy for a minute I want to turn my car on to move the windows oh it's a big train I might have to oh she's a big one there you can kind of see it through my window there it goes <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, hopefully you can hear me okay. I don't want to put my windows up because it's hot as balls. There isn't much, there is no breeze down here tonight. I should have gone down by the bridge because there's always a breeze down there. Oh, now you're going to stop, aren't you, you big bitch? Yep, there's going to be a big clink in a minute. There you go, big clink. <laughs> Man, the lineup waiting to get him. <laughs> oh, that makes me so happy. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> it's gonna cut off everybody at my street too. You can see. I don't know if it'll show, but... Uh, big fucking train. My street is up that way and then up the road and the train is cutting off. So you can't get up to my street and you can't get down to the Timmy's. <laughs> And he's moving slow. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know why that makes me so happy. <laughs> Everybody's sitting in their car going, God damn it. <laughs> there they go. Oh, it looks like it might it might stop again in a minute, so get ready for a big clunk. Uh, must be full because that thing is moving slow. This is um, this town uh, makes its money off of plant workers, so we have a clunk. We have what we lovingly call Chemical Valley. The other end of the lake. More clunking. <laughs> and uh, there's actually, I think this, I think you can see me here. See that building? Right over here. <laughs> I think that is a, well, it is a mill. I just don't know if it's some sort of grain or what kind of mill it is. But most of the good jobs in this town are in some sort of plant work. Like in Chemical Valley, you've got like um, Bear, well it's not Bear anymore, I can't even pronounce what they've changed it to. Um, where my mom used to work, uh, it's bare rubber, but it's called something else now. Um, there's Suncor, there's, oh, what's the other one? There's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole slew of them. And they're all in, like, Chemical Valley, which is, like... Yeah, we know you're there, bud. Trust, we hear you. Um, 
But yeah, that's where all the good jobs are in this town. So even if you can get into like janitorial out in Chemical Valley, you good. <laughs> you good. You, you fine. You got pension. You got full benefits. You, you know, you're contracted. Like you're good. I've been trying to get in there for years. <laughs> I don't know what I was saying before that the train distracted me and now I forget what I was saying. Oh, we were going to go. My brother wanted me to go to Gravenhurst. So I said, you know, like I'll, I'll talk to my boyfriend and, and see if he's down. Right. Because, but I said, you know, you got to remember as far as I know, the kids will still be in school in two weeks. Unless Friday is the last, unless that Friday is the last day. I don't know. Which I think he was saying was the 25th. I think the 25th is in two weeks. Um, and as far as I know, the kids are still in school. So, like, even if I can work it out and have either his stepmom or his stepdad pick him up, which, I mean, if it worked out and we could go, I won't leave him home alone for more than an hour during the day at a time, right? I just, I don't like it. I mean, he's 11, but <sighs> for an hour or so, he's okay. But I mean, as far as I know, to be left alone, like for a day, like, like a work day kind of thing, um, a kid has to be at least 14. So from a legal standpoint, I don't think I can do it. And just from a mom standpoint, I, because I know he would be nervous and I, I just, yeah. So I said, you know, if we left like at 2.30, 3 o'clock, then, you know, Either his dad or his stepmom would be able to pick him up, you know, by four, quarter to five kind of deal, right? That would be fine. But I think, I think he said that check-in there was like three o'clock or something, so. I said, I don't know, we'll have to play it by ear. I'll talk to my boyfriend and see how he feels. Um... I said, but if I can finagle it and it works out and, you know, like I call you back and tell you we can go, right, your fiance had best not come to you and say, oh, no, I've decided I want to go. And you go, oh, okay, and tell me to go fuck my hat because I will find her and smack her like, <laughs> and then you and I are going to have a problem because you you know that's not fair like that you know I, I, I get that I mean the whole point I assume of this weekend away was to be him his wife his wife his fiance and my nephew, right? He's trying so hard to get the two of them to spend time together. And I, do, I really don't think it's working. Anyway, I'm not going to get onto that online. But, um, and it'll make me really angry. So, um, like, you know, so I, I mean, I get that that's probably the original point to the whole thing. But she's, you know, worried about her dogs or whatever, which... Okay, I mean, I had, I've had fur babies my whole life. I, I get it. But life doesn't stop because you have animals. Like, I'm just saying. I used to, I, I boarded mine once for a, a long weekend. I boarded my dog and put a shit ton of food and water down for my cat. They were fine. My dog had the time of her life. <laughs> and any other time, I, you know, I find people to 
dogs it. It's not that big a deal. Free food. Come stay at my house for the weekend. Free food. Make sure the dog eats. Make sure she goes outside. It's fine. But, uh, anyway. So, he's like, oh, no, no, no. He said, if, if you get back to me and, and, you know, she's still got it in her head that she doesn't want to go and whatever. If she decides after that, she's SOL. It's okay. Just saying. You know. Because I am not a big fan of her anyway. So let's not do anything to make things worse. Like, let's just avoid that altogether. <sighs> so. I don't know. But I found it very... It just... I don't... I don't do decisions well right now and I was on my way out the door and I was so excited I'm gonna go vlog and like hee -hee, getting out of the house go vlog for a little bit and then my brother called I said fuck <laughs> dude I just wanna go vlog <laughs> and you know Excuse me for sounding like a bitch, but I don't think I particularly want to spend a weekend with my brother. Like, we're not close like that. Like, he's my brother, whatever. Great. But, I, I know, I know. I could not do a whole weekend with him without a buffer. The buffer being my boyfriend. <laughs> <clears throat> and I don't have little ones anymore. Like, my nephew is, what, seven? Bad auntie. He's seven. Or eight. No more than eight. And he suffers from massive only child syndrome. I mean, he's a great kid. I love him to pieces. I would lay down in traffic for him. I would kill a man with my bare hands for that boy. But... <laughs> He still does the imaginary play and, you know, pretend this and do that. And uh, My kids are 11 and 20. I don't do that shit no more. <clears throat> I didn't like doing that shit with my own kids. Never mind with anybody else's. <laughs> you want to make forts out of pillows and chairs and blankets? I am down for that. You know. You want to go out in the rain and dance around like a moron? I am down for that. You know, you want to go to the park and kick a ball around or... Well, not throw a frisbee because then there's running involved in that. I don't do that. And I don't like things flying at my face. It freaks me out. <laughs> but, you know, go for a walk, go play at the park. You know push you on the swings or whatever <sighs> but to do to, to do that pretend thing like I no no I, I yeah I that's that's not for me you save that for your friends <laughs> I ain't your friend <laughs> Uh, I gotta switch hands again. Sorry. <sighs> Take some coffee too. So. <sighs> I don't know. My favorite part of summer, quite frankly, is to sit around in my backyard with an endless supply of iced coffee and then in the afternoon maybe I'm like I can't drink more than one Caesar because that's like a meal 
It's like beer. Get full. But maybe, uh... I can't even think what that drink's called now. My brain these days, I'm telling you. I don't know, it was, it was some kind of red, red wine. I can't remember the name of it now. It'll come to me later and I'll be like, damn it. Yeah, I can't remember. And I buy it all the time. As a matter of fact, I've got like two or three bottles of it at home. But I love to sit out in my backyard and have a couple of drinks. And smoke and do a bonfire in the evening. And sit around with a couple of friends and chit-chat. Sit around with my boyfriend and chit-chat. My boyfriend's funny to drink with because neither of us drink a lot. Like, I think we both did back in the day. <laughs> but not so much now. But when we do, we're both kind of like all or nothing, right? So it's not like one or two drinks. It's like you gotta get, gotta tie one on. Make it a thing. And, uh, uh, he's so funny because he takes a little while to get into the groove of things. Whereas me, you know, like three drinks in and I'm like, party, party, party. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's go moon somebody. <laughs> I get so hyper. <laughs> and I'm loud anyway. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it translates throughs on the videos or not. But I, I think I tend to talk quieter on my videos because I'm super self-conscious and You know, <laughs> lately I've been down at the park a lot and I, I don't want, you know, I mean, people look at me funny anyway because I'm sitting here with my phone talking to myself, but I don't want them to hear me to boot. <sighs> but generally, in real life, day to day, I am a loud person. <laughs> I can't do anything quietly. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> I can't whisper. I can't, I can't tell a secret because everybody can hear me talking, so... That doesn't happen. So when I'm like, you know, like excited and, and, you know, having a couple of drinks or whatever, it's just 10 times worse. I'm super loud. I'm sure everybody at the bars used to hate me. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I had fun. But I'm like ready to go. And it's so funny because by the time... He is ready to party, 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 and go, 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 like the fucking sun's coming up and I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> uh, it's funny. <laughs> he gets all pissed off. Like, it. my dude, feel free to sit here with the birdies and Mr. Sun, but uh, your girl's going to bed. Peace, yo. Because we'll start at like 5.30, 6 o'clock in the evening and friggin' go until 4 in the morning. <sighs> Which is, you know, fine. It's a once in a while thing. You tie one on, that's great. But when you're not synced, <laughs> you want to keep going until 7, 8, 10 o'clock in the morning, do you, but I'm going to bed. <laughs> So that's my idea of a good time in the summer. I don't need to travel. No, I mean, if I'm going to travel, I'm going to travel. Like, I want to, like, go to a different country. <laughs> make, make it worthwhile. 
the packing and the traveling. Because that's the worst part of any vacation, right? Packing, the traveling. Whether you're going or coming or going, it doesn't matter. Packing sucks. Because <sighs> you don't know what to pack when you're going, so you pack everything. And then when you're coming home, it's like worse because you've bought more shit. I do anyway. I don't know. Just me? And if it's a road trip, I mean, road trips sound like, you know, fun and whatever, but I mean, I have the bladder of a two year old. So that sucks. And I'm also, um, I get motion sick. And, uh, get a little claustrophobic. That's why I keep my windows open. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually also why I prefer if I'm gonna I, I found the last couple times I vlogged at night um, I find that I, I don't feel as confined and I don't know why that is but I feel more comfortable um, I don't feel boxed in I guess um, but then you can't see me so <laughs> I think I have two vlogs up like that. And uh, I've parked under a street lamp just in case I, I run into, you know, the darkness. And hopefully that that will help. I don't think we will because we're over half an hour now. So, and the sun's just starting to go down. So, <sighs> I think it'll be fine this time. But, yeah, we're under a lamp post just in case. Because those two videos are pretty freaking dark. <laughs> but you don't need to see me. I mean, if anybody's watching this, you don't really need to see me. You just need to hear me, right? The uh, sultry, sultry sound of my, my voice. Oh, Mr. Policeman. <gasps> I didn't do it. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no, there's two of them now. <laughs> What's going on in the park? <clears throat> Interesting. Some small town excitement, maybe? Well, it's only two officers, so it can't be that exciting. Are they looking for somebody? Hmm, interesting. The police around here are so funny. <clears throat> they get all excited whenever there's like a big call for something. I can remember years ago when I first bought my house down here. Um, well, not first, I guess we've been here for a couple of years because I was very pregnant with my youngest. This would have been, he was born in September. So this might've been like August, maybe, maybe, maybe mid or early. Mid or late July, I mean, I, I I had to leave work early with that pregnancy because I was friggin' ginormous. But anyways, I'd woken up. Well, I didn't wake up. I was having trouble sleeping. And I just decided to get it. It was hot. And like I said, I was very pregnant. So I got up and I went downstairs and I, we had cable back then. And I put uh, a movie on or something and it was just laying on the couch watching a movie and all of a sudden my entire living room lit up blue and red and I could hear like not screaming but yelling get down on the floor get down on the floor I was like holy shit and my couch used to be up against had a great big window that goes out like shows the front excuse me, the front of my house. And 
So I got up on my knees and, you know, leaned over the back of the couch and I peeled my curtain open just a little bit. My street, both sides of my road, were filled with police cars. And there was all kinds of people in front of my house, like on the boulevard and on the sidewalk, and then there's like a little grass patch and then my porch. They were all over there. And the cops are throwing these guys down on the ground. And I mean, they're in full on tactical gear. It was insane. Great big uh, pepper ball guns. Like, they were huge. And uh, I went upstairs to look at my um, bedroom window. My bedroom window was right over the living room, which overlooks the whole street. And it was all in front of my house. There was two, four, probably six cars. Like, and I mean, they were on either side of the road. And then down the street directly in front of my house was probably another six cars. Each had two cop, two policemen in it. And there was also two or three of those bigger, I call them paddy wagons. I don't know what they're actually called. Paddy wagons. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Where they can throw like multiple people in. And, like I said, they were in full-on tactical gear and they had the great big pepper ball guns and just tossing guys down on the ground, right? Well, earlier that day, this young guy, and I mean, he was maybe in his early 20s, right? Super nice guy, but he liked to party. And he went up and down the street telling the neighbors, like he told the whole neighborhood, Having a toga party. <laughs> You're more than welcome to come. Having a toga party. And I went, thanks, but no thanks. Like, I'm huge. Thank you. Like, it's it's good. But do you. Thank you for letting me know, right? It's summertime. Party. Whatever. But if I come over and ask you to keep it down, you know, at like 2 in the morning or something, fucking turn it down. I never heard a damn thing all day. And I didn't hear anything from them at, at night. The, the only time I heard anything was when the friggin' cops came and, like, broke up the party for whatever the fuck. And we're, like, tossing guys down on the ground. And, like, it, it was absolutely mad. And the girls, <laughs> the girlfriends and everything were all coming out and, like, ripping off their togas and protests. So it was, like, you know, titties everywhere. <laughs> So they're calling for the, the you know, we need, we need some female cops here. Because <laughs> the guys can't touch them, right? <laughs> it was so, you not arresting my man. She's ripping off her toga. She's there in her thong and her titties hanging out. Oh my God. There was like probably five or six. Well, more, but I saw five or six of them. And <laughs> I got off the couch and I went and sat on my other couch on the other side of the, because I was terrified that they were going to start shooting these fucking pepper ball guns and a, one of these fucking balls is going to come through my goddamn window. <laughs> I mean, the next day it was absolutely hysterical. At the time, I was pretty freaked out. And I'm trying to wake up my boyfriend at the time and, you know, because, you know, like, you got to see this. Like, it, 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 it can't just be me. <laughs> He wouldn't wake up. <laughs> when I got up the next morning, making coffee and breakfast and whatever for everybody, and <laughs> I went outside with my coffee and to have a cigarette on my front porch, as, as I do every morning, and uh, I shit you not. My entire front yard, my entire front yard was filled with bras. It was bras, bras, bras as far as the eye can see. Like every size, shape, and color, and style you could possibly imagine. It was absolutely hysterical. <laughs> I went and had a box, and I put them all in this box. 
and I put them out like on the little strip of grass in front of my porch figuring you know come and get them girls so <laughs> I go in the house and I grab my my cordless phone and I bring it out on the porch with me sit down to have a coffee and a cigarette and I call my mother <laughs> before my mom got sick and <laughs> it's like Good morning, Mama. It's your baby girl. How are you today? We're chit-chatting. And she asked me how I was feeling and whatever. And I said, well, you know, I want to die. But I said, do I have a story for you? And I told her about <laughs> the toga party. <laughs> and the bust. <laughs> in, in both meanings, you can take that word. <laughs> It is everywhere. And she's she's like, no. And I said, oh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Full on tactical. Great big ass. I mean, I, the biggest pepper ball gun. I didn't know pepper ball guns were that big. These things were freaking huge. And girls ripping off their togas and titties bouncing everywhere. I said, I got, I have enough bras to cover every girl in Sarn every every girl from like Windsor to friggin' Ottawa. Like <laughs> Oh my goodness. I said, so you know, if 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 you need some bras, come check them out. I'm sure they got some in your size, you know. <laughs> I ended up throwing out a shit ton of bras. I mean, they were all over the goddamn place. And nobody ever came back for him. Nobody wanted to claim him. But it was funny because later that that day, like after everything was, you know, whatever, the next day, the next day, this kid who threw the party came out of the house. And this is a big house. It's like, it's probably got about five apartments in it, I think. It's huge. I'm sure the apartments are tiny, but the building itself is huge. And he, I, I see him, he walked, he used to walk really slow, huh? yeah, a little extra slow that day. I'm sure he was all hung over and whatever. And I'm sitting out on the porch having a cigarette and <sighs> talking to my boyfriend at the time. And, uh, <laughs> this kid comes walking across the street over to our neighbor's directly across the street from us they were hysterical guys too and we're all going oh great party last night did you have a good time <laughs> he's like yeah up until <laughs> we teased him for days after that it was so funny he was such a sweet guy he really was I don't know what happened and I don't care. It, it it was just, it was the freakiest, funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> well. I think, uh, I think I'm going to call this story. I keep sticking my hand. I got, I want to switch hands. <laughs> there we go. I think I'm going to, uh, get off here now. Sorry. I can see my hands in the way of the camera there, but I, this hand is getting tired. I think I'm going to get off here now and, uh, Make sure my youngest gets in the shower and all that good stuff. It's got to be almost 8 o'clock. Let's check here real quick. Oh, it's almost 20 to 9. Okay. Okay. I see you, Ty. All right. Well, yeah, I'm going to book then. I got to make sure he gets in the shower and gets to bed. <sighs> Neglecting my motherly duties. <sighs> all right. Well. Good talk. <laughs> Anybody watching this, have a good night. And, uh, weirdness in the park, sorry. And, uh, yeah, uh, we'll talk later. 
Have a good night.